my mood. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Deja. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, hey, thanks for stopping by. For today, we're doing my very first Q&A video. So I went on all my social media and I asked you guys to send me some of your most pressing questions and I got a good bunch of them. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my very first Q&A. I'm like a real YouTuber now. But before we get on down to today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Also, don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos and also click the little bell so you don't miss out whenever I do post. All right, let's get started. Now, out of all the questions that I've gotten so far, this one is the most asked, and that question is, who's your favorite member of Chase Atlantic? And I honestly don't have a favorite. I love them all way too much, so I can't pick. Favorite TV show? My favorite TV show as of right now is The Originals. I honestly have just thrown my life away with that show. I usually forget what day it is, what time it is, um, what month it is. Um, where my friends are. <laughs> Do you like horror movies? If so, which is your favorite? The Shining, The Babadook, Woman in Black, um, Zombieland, even though it's more considered a comedy. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, and It Follows. I don't know why. It's just, that movie is just so weird to me. Oh, also Paranormal Activity, all the Paranormal Activity movies. So this is another question that I'm beginning a lot, and that is, what is your all-time favorite Chase Atlantic song? Hold Your Breath is always gonna have a special place in my heart, just because that's the first song I ever heard from the boys, and it's just, it's a great song. It's a bop. How old are you? I'm 19, about to be 20 next month. What's your all-time favorite song? You know what I've noticed? I feel, I feel like I don't really have a concrete, like, favorite song of all time. It kind of changes a lot. So as of right now, my favorite song is um, Happiness by Death Havana. What fictional character do you identify with the most and why? Uh, Ty Lee from Avatar The Last Airbender because she's bubbly and she's cute and she's funny and she's all over the place. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? Y'all, my biggest fear? Listen, I hate clowns, I hate birds, and I hate the dentist. And the clown fear and the dentist fear are intertwined into one story, okay? So if you guys want to see a story time video on the reason why I'm scared of clowns and the dentist, then definitely give this video a big thumbs up and I'll do one. What was it like meeting the boys during the video shoot? For those of you who don't understand what that question is referring to, um, over the summer I got to be in a music video for one of my favorite bands called Chase Atlantic and it was for their song Cassie off of their EP part two. Um, and I had been listening to Chase Atlantic for um, about four years, almost five up to that point, and I was a huge, huge fan. So meeting them was definitely, definitely surreal. I felt like I was in some kind of simulation, like virtual reality. I didn't think I was really there. I could have sworn at one point I was dreaming, but honestly, the guys were so professional and they were so nice and so sweet and they were accommodating to everybody. Like if no one was drinking alcohol, they'd have like sodas and waters and other things for you to drink. Um, they took the time to get to know everybody at the shoot. They tried to make everyone feel comfortable. They were just really, really nice. So it was really awesome to meet them. Do you have any guilty pleasures? Oh, Jesus. Actually, yes, I do. I just, one of my guilty pleasures. Okay. Growing up, there was one CD that I would listen to all the time. And um, it was the Bratz um, Rock Angel soundtrack from the movie. I still have it on my Spotify, and I still listen to it. There. And it's full of bops. Don't believe me? Go listen to it right now. Yup! Do you have a favorite flower? My favorite flower, I love, I really love roses and I love sunflowers. I think they are so pretty and just them together. Oh my god! <sighs> Music preference. I don't really have like a specific music preference. I'm really open-minded, but mus a music genre that I really don't like nowadays is hip hop and rap and trap and all that stupid stuff. Because honestly for me as a woman, I find a lot of the music to be very degrading towards me in particular because a lot of rappers talk about how women are good for nothing more than their bodies or like they're gonna tap it and leave or you know hey smoke weed every day it's like no what no I'd rather not 
I could listen to David Bowie or like John Denver or Jimi Hendrix. I'd rather listen to music that has like a story and like a message than just nonsense. Who's your least favorite member of Chase Atlantic? I don't know why I was getting this question so much, but it's just like, like I, I don't have a least favorite member. What are you studying in college? I am a photojournalist major. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hmm. Hopefully I have my own TV show or, you know, my YouTube channel is still, you know, growing and I'm reaching out to as many people as possible and connecting with you guys more. Um, maybe engaged or in a relationship. Um, I want a puppy and a kitty. I want them to grow up together and love each other. And I will have a super nice apartment in LA. Favorite thing about going to an HBCU? My favorite thing about going to an HBCU is definitely the community. Um, not only are you surrounded by people that look like you and are like-minded like you, it's literally like a big family. Like at my school in particular, I can go to anybody and know that I can confide in them. I mean, me personally, like the friends that I have, I know I can confide in them and get love back. So um, the school that I attend, everybody there that I have met personally is just absolutely incredible and just some of the coolest people ever. And this is my first time ever having black friends because for as long as I can remember, um, I've never really had black friends before, so it's definitely it was definitely a culture shock when I first got there. But I've made some of the greatest friends and met some of the coolest people and had some of the most amazing experiences. So yeah, my favorite thing about being at HBCU is the community. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Okay, Liza Koshy, Anna Akana, Rob Dyke, and Matthew Santoro. You don't know them? They'll all be linked down below. Give them love. What made you want to start your YouTube channel? Throughout my entire high school career, a lot of my friends would tell me that I had the type of personality that would be good for YouTube. Like, I'm funny, I'm nice, I'm smart, I'm insightful, and I just am like such a positive person. So I do have, you know, a lot of insight that I can share with other people. I'm good at giving advice, I'm good at telling stories, I'm sympathetic, and I'm caring. And I thought that that would be a cool, you know, like all those things combined would make a good YouTuber. So here I am. Who is your current celebrity crush? Okay, my current celebrity crush is Daniel Gillies. Woo! From the originals, he plays Elijah Michelson, my entire husband. I just, oh my God, I love him. Anybody who's a fan of the originals, comment down below who's your favorite Michelson brother. And last but not least, how would you sum up 2017 in three words? Short, horrible, and why? Just why? But yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Also, do not forget to subscribe for brand new videos and click the bell so you don't miss out whenever I post. And if you want to follow me on all my social media, they'll be all be linked down below along with my Saraha and my Curious Cat for my next Q&A video if you have anything else you want to ask me. But until I see you guys next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.